The College of Engineering is the primary developer of engineering talent in Hawaii. Just as you are essential to Hawaii's economy, the college is critical to your business. Holmes Hall, named after a former dean, is still our main facility for our work. Let me provide a brief update on the current status of the college. We are engineers after all, and where would we be without our data? Our undergraduate enrollment is strong, and as you probably know, we offer four bachelor's degrees. Civil engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. In the fall semester, we had almost 1,400 undergrads. Across the programs, the undergrad enrollment has been fairly steady. As you know, the economy has been strong, and our graduates have been very successful at getting jobs. This reflects how important the college and all of you are to the economy. Last year, we had over 330 graduates, a record, and we are on pace this year for yet another record. With great support from the administration, we've been recruiting new faculty aggressively. We made five hires last year, and this year we have seven searches going on. I would like to segue now into a brief update from each department. Given the short time available, the chairs were challenged to highlight just one item out of many. We'll start off with civil engineering. I'm pleased to let you know that 30 of our civil engineering students became Envision sustainability professionals last year. Envision is a project rating scheme developed at Princeton University and administered by the Institute for Sustainable Infrastructure. Envision was introduced to my CE 444 course on sustainable infrastructure. Nearly all of the students chose to take the Envision exam for their own professional development. 30 out of 36 students passed and the number of Envision sustainability professionals in Hawaii doubled. We should all look forward to more sustainable infrastructure. Aloha. The MB Computing Lab brings together designers and engineers and scientists to explore what's possible at the intersection of cyber physical systems, the Internet of Things, and augmented and virtual reality. Electrical and computer engineers are at the forefront of this digital transformation. In addition to our research, we are also developing pioneering courses that teach both the state-of-the-art theory and the practical skills needed for students to develop smart connected systems that will power the future. The Department of Mechanical Engineering is excited to spotlight its new faculty. Sang Wu Shin works on energy efficient particle separation technologies for low cost water treatment and biomedical diagnostics. Wu Chu Li's research focuses on understanding nanoscale thermal transport, energy conversion, and quantum transport. Joseph Brown works to develop micro devices and nanomaterials, which lie at the frontiers of engineering, with impacts in sensors, manufacturing, and energy generation. As you know, we only offer four BS degrees, which means that we are not offering our local students options that many of them seek and that many mainland schools do offer. As a result, we are proposing to add a new bachelor's degree in engineering science with specific, well-defined tracks. The degree is meant to be an incubator program, and if a track gains traction, it can be spun off into its own degree program. The first two tracks will be biomedical engineering and aerospace engineering. Biomedical engineering is one of the fastest growing programs nationally. We've partnered with Jabsom and Dean Jarris Hedges to establish this program. Biomedical engineering is a great pathway into a rewarding career in the life sciences. Engineers are problem solvers and technology developers. The healthcare field has many opportunities for engineers who can bridge traditional engineering science and the life sciences, in addition to using engineering as a pathway to becoming a clinical scientist, such as I have done, they can bring new tools to the understanding of basic life sciences, such as genetics, molecular biology, immunology, and biochemistry. Although there are a number of companies that deal with aerospace in Hawaii, there is potential for this industry to increase significantly. UH is on the verge of having the capacity to design, fabricate, and launch small satellites, and the potential market for this capability is quite substantial. In addition, a survey has shown that a significant percent of mechanical engineering students would like to see this as an option. 
We are partnering with the Hawaii Space Flight Laboratory and SOAS on establishing this program. In addition, civil engineering is planning on offering an option to major in construction engineering. This will give students yet another choice, and in addition it will allow civil engineering to make some innovative changes in that curriculum. In summary, the college is on the cusp of substantial change and the future is exciting. We hope you share our excitement at the great things ahead for the college.